In this video, I'm going to show you how to click in your MIDI notes instead of playing them. Now, if you don't have a MIDI controller, you can also always very quickly click in your MIDI notes. A lot of electronic producers do this. Okay, so to start with it, basically here I have a drum loop, a bass loop, sorry, a bass loop going on for a couple of bars, up to eight bars. Let me play and let me hear how it sounds. Here it goes. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to click in our MIDI notes right now instead of playing them. So what you can do is on my second track here, I have drums. Okay, next thing to do is to get a pencil tool or an edit tool and draw in some regions here, for example, or here. Okay, you can also merge them up. Right, and now we're going to, let's say we're going to put some drums starting from bar 4. A fill in coming to bar 4. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to double click this and go into the piano roll. I'm going to remove this so you can see it clearer. Okay, right, and here is bar 4. Let's play it and see where those hits are going to come in. Unsolve it. Okay, now looking at the grids, we have learned quantization and we know how this works. Okay, so looking at the grids, we have bit 1, 2. Okay, we're going to change the quantization to something else, to 1, 8, sorry. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's change it to 16. So we get more grids to work with. So now looking at our piano row right here, you can identify which notes are which. That's a snare, crash, okay, C1 is there, and C1 is a kick. So you can find your notes like this, and basically, I press alternate on my keyboard to select the pencil tool. But in your different doors, you can also select using the same way I did, or choose the toolbar to draw, or pencil, okay, I call it a pencil tool. Alright, so we're going to draw in things like this. Okay. Arranging things. Let's hear how it sounds. Okay, and that sounds cool. Let's add more kicks. A kick on every, uh, well, every hit. Okay more of a club kind of uh, track. So a kick and then probably a snare together with the drum here. Okay. Then let's find some hi-hats. Okay, let's say our hi-hats are here. Okay. Arranging things like that. So you can on your snap. Okay. Now in Cubase, snap is this one here. And what snap does is, if, if I go through my piano row, you can see that the line snaps to the grids. Okay, without snap, you see I can freely put my MIDI notes anywhere, literally anywhere. Okay, so doing this, you probably want your snap on. Okay. Pulling it back here. Okay. And basically, once you have a pattern, what you can do is you can quickly copy them over like this and get a pattern. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, let's duplicate that. All right, and of course, I can see that my drums are now all in the same velocity. What you can do is you can always draw lines to give different velocities. Okay, a crescendo there. Let's see how this sounds. Maybe a crash here. Yes. Okay, you can add as many as you want. Again, playing around with the velocities and also the other modulations that you have in your piano roll. Okay, and so on and so forth. Alright? So that's how you basically click, click in 
MIDI nodes into your piano roll to form an arrangement without a MIDI controller. And many producers, producers electronic producers, uh, producers that produces electronic music like dubstep, dance, um, breakbeat, they do this a lot instead of playing on um, the MIDI controller. There's a lot of producers that don't even know how to play a keyboard, but they can produce music. And basically, this is a great start, I think. Alright, so that concludes this video. I hope it helped you. If you have a question, please ask me and I'll see you in the next video.